climbed into that and smashed it away through square for four. Oh, it's gone for six. What a stroke that was. Well, Dean Hitley encouraged by a false shot from Matt Elliott. Has tried it again. Well, that one's outside off stump. That's a remarkable stroke. Good stroke from Matthew Elliott. It'll run away too quickly for Goff to be able to do anything about it. No stopping that. He really is laying into these square cuts. He's clearly decided that on this surface, if you're going to attack, it's all or nothing. Yes. Oh, that's well played, because Goff slipped him the slower one, the off-break. And he was so in control of the stroke. Just beginning to see what uh, Alan Border and other Australians meant about Elliot. That's got through as well. Chase for Elam, he won't get there. of Elliott's strengths is square on the offside. It didn't bounce though all that much. That's beautifully played. That's quite a legitimate stroke. He glided into the shot with good footwork and just opened the face. Enough of an angle on the ball to run it quite safely along the ground in the space to the boundary. Yeah, just a hint of width here. And Elliott's had a good look at Smith. Knows he's not swinging it an awful lot, if anything. And... Uh, gets everything uh, behind that and just opens the face instead of pushing that uh, straight back to extra cover mid off it's glided it away good stroke as well and the gap at mid wicket and picks up three more Smashed away, very much like a couple of strokes that Graham Thorpe played this morning off Gillespie. Done it again. Guided it away in the gap. And it brings up 50 for Matthew Elliott. And it's an especially well played 50 as well. Again, this time a little squarer and clever batting from Elliot. Smashed away. The umpires are consulting to see if this actually went over the rope and they're going to uh, enlist the help of uh, Ray Julian, the third umpire. And six is the signal. Pulled away, there is a fine leg who can't see it. It's Robert Croft. It doesn't really matter, it's clattered into the boards. He's up to 99. Short and pulled away again, this time to Croft. And only one, but it doesn't matter because that single takes Matthew Elliott to his second Test match century. The second of the summer and greeted with fine applause all round this packed Headingley ground. Well, that is a, a magic hundred. Not just in the way it was played, but in the context of the game. The Australians all appreciate that. Standing over from the fans, Greg Blewett's even whistling. Ah! Down the pitch and over the top. 
high and hard. It wasn't quite to the pitch of it, but he kept going so well with his hands that it's all the way. It's the third six of the innings from Elliott. That's uh, Matthew Elliott's highest score in Test match cricket, beating his uh, 112 at Lords. 113 not out now. He started his Test career modestly. Oh, that's a great stroke. It's his first boundary of the day, but it was a marvellous shot through extra cover. Well, it's a half volley. One of the batsman's 144, as he was before he dispatched that. He'll be seeing it quite well. It's one down to Goff, the third man. Elliot on 149. You should think there's no confidence in him, but there's certainly confidence in that shot. But bring, what a nice way to bring the 150. He runs. Just wondering whether Mike uh, Smith might just have uh, slipped over the ropes then when he slipped. I'm sure Mitchell might be having a quick look at it. 